Hi, though, YouTube family, man. Ant-Man here back with another video, and I'm really excited, man. I, I was on a call um, about two hours ago, okay? And, you know, we had a really unique question about cold call, I mean, uh, unique conversation about cold calling. And it, it was really amazing, you know, how other people look at cold calling and how I look at cold calling. And it was funny how, like, you know, two, you know, you know, an even and an odd or just two odds come together and kind of come up with an equation and whatnot, but, or a solution. But anyway, basically, this video, okay, is about cold calling. And you're probably like, what? Cold calling? And you still pick up that dinosaur leg? Yes, I still pick up that dinosaur leg. And I call. Yes, the whole sequence and already having everything ready, already knowing what to say, which is 9 out of 10. The reason why you guys fail with cold calling is you don't know what to say when someone asks you a question. But, I already know what to say, already having my rebuttals ready, not even really in front of me, it's just feeding off of the call. You know, my first, like, year, my, my first, like, yeah, like, close to my first year, I didn't even know really what objections was or rebuttals, and I never really followed through on it because I'm the person that feels the call, okay? Based off the feeling, like, I can tell off of that call knowing what's going to go next. I don't know how, but that's just... That's just how you know how I how I do things, and then I broke down objections and rebuttals and other things like that based off of how my calls were. Right? Sometimes company call company things that aren't necessarily proven is not effective with some people. You know, I talk with some slang. I, I I'm real life with it. You know, I'm a fan, like right in your face with it. You know, I'm down to earth, really really fun and engaging. So a typical script is not going to be for me. So I gotta break it down to a science for, for how I talk and what I do, okay? But to answer a lot of people's questions, like yes, I still cold call to this day. No matter what type of campaigns I create, no matter what type of uh, uh, any type of campaign, it doesn't matter what type of marketing or anything that I'm doing, I still will pick up that phone. And if I see that business, and maybe I'm like, you know what? Maybe an email is not gonna do it, you know? Sometimes the direct approach is the best approach, and I've been saying that for a long time, guys. You know, I've still closed businesses, okay, with cold calling, like just reaching out to them and respecting the receptionist, guys. A lot of you just kind of just want to push them over to the side and make them feel like their job is less than, that they're nothing, and what they do is not important. At the end of the day, that receptionist still has a family. That receptionist still is a mother. That receptionist still is a, a, a great aunt. That receptionist is still someone that has to pay their bills. That receptionist is the only thing that's holding you away from the CEO, and you're just going to disrespect them? Oh, I don't need to speak with you. I have to speak with the owner. Basically making them feel like, well, I mean, okay, like, they're going to hang right up on you. Now, of course, yes, in cold calling, you're going to get more hang-ups than you're going to get yeses. But, guys, you need to look at it like this. The close, the, the more no's you get, the closer to a yes you're going to get, or at least the closer to possibility of that yes. You should really work with yourself and test your own skill set. Grow yourself while you're in those calls so you know how to work things, okay? What to say and what not to say. Do I sound like I'm, I'm, I'm pushing or pressuring someone to make a decision, or are they genuinely transferring me over because they actually want uh, me to talk with them or, or they just playing a game on the phone, you know You really got to really figure out how your tonality is when you're speaking with these people Do you want to sound like a robot? No. Okay, do you want to sound like, you know, uh, 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 you know John Travolta on a drunk day or something? No, no disrespect to my boy John. I love his movies You know, I just was watching one of his the other day, but I'm just saying, you know you want to sound like you. Put some life in your script, guys. I, I be people. I get emails all the time. Hey, can you uh, hear my script? Or hey, can you, uh, you know, read my script? And can you tell me what I need to put in or what I need to take out? Listen, some of you guys sound like somebody's grandfather um, that used to work construction or something, and you're like, hey, this is John. Um, XYZ company and I'm trying to find out if you are currently right now in in the market for what it is we have to offer and and then you got some people that talk too fast. Hey how you doing this is John listen 
you know, when somebody calls your phone, you know what your reaction is going to be. When someone talks too fast, you're going to say, oh, 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 wait, wait, I'm, 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 I'm sorry. I cannot understand what you're saying. Can you repeat that? Then you got someone that sounds dead and dry on the phone. You're going to look at the phone like, really? Really, young? All right. Then you're going to bang on them, right? You don't care what it is. So you need to talk with these people, not just like you know them, but you understand their business more than they do. You need to dive into that. Do a little bit of research on the company. If, for example, if you are, you're affiliated with a reputation management company, right? You know that a business's reputation is literally everything. The bad reviews that they get, okay, hinders them from a certain, you know, 4.5 or 5 star rating online. People really look for that type of rating when they're going out to eat, when they're going to get their hair done. You know, uh, what best places to buy clothes from, what best places to buy a car from or buy a house from. It's a lot that people look at. So if you are a reputable reputation management company and when you see those bad reviews, those 3.8s and 2.5, right? You see that one star, you're gonna be like, you know what? I'm gonna give this person a call. You are concerned for them. You are diving in their business, letting them know that you are extremely passionate about what's going on in their business. I guarantee you that is going to come off in that call. And that receptionist has no other option but to either do one or two, two things. Transfer you directly over to the CEO or the business owner or manager in charge. Or what you can do is collect that information. She's going to transfer you over, okay, or relay over that information to that CEO. But while you're on the call with her, ask her what's the best time to get in contact with that CEO. And she's going to give you a name. She's going to give you an email address. She's probably going to give you another phone number because she knows that you really do actually care. And you're not, the whole motive of the call is not to just sell to, sell to them, okay? You know, I'm all for sales. I get it. I've been in sales for a long time, and I get it. But when you come off like that, it, it's very intrusive. It's very demanding. And you're just, how you doing? This is Bob from so-and-so. Like, you just sound like, like you don't even care. And you're just like, okay, when are you ready to get started? Like, you don't even care. Like, I don't like approaches like that. Every other word is when you're ready to get, when you're ready to get started. When you're ready to get started. Wait a minute. I didn't even finish talking yet. Wait a minute. Can you let me get my wife on the phone first so then we can dialogue, we can connect together so then we can come into a final decision? Wait a minute. Hold on, hold on now, hold on. Not just yet. I just told you that I'm not ready to invest right now. Okay? I will be able to have that money, you know, say a week from now or a couple of days from now. But they don't even care what you're saying. They're only worrying about their own self. That's somebody that you don't want to partner with. Because a, 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 a business, you don't want to partner with that because that individual will come off the wrong way. Okay? And it's going to make you feel like they're just looking for the end result, which is, you know, the end user submitting a payment. And then you're going to be, they're going to be fine. But then now you're going to be like, okay, well, let's, let's do this. And then next thing you know, nothing happens. So, understand, guys, that... Your approach in cold calling is why you go from one appointment a day to six appointments a day. Or maybe 10 appointments a week to 30 appointments a week. Okay? I'm telling you now, like, it's really, really important. Understanding your tonality, but being extremely, very, very passionate about your industry. But show compassion. Okay? Be sincere. Let them speak. Sometimes y'all talk too much. Y'all need to shut up and listen to what their response is. And based off of that response, that's when you connect with them. That has that connection based off of what it is that they said to you in that call. Okay? People these days are looking for the solution to their problem. You may be the best option, but the way you sound on that phone, they could end up not wanting to partner with you and end up lowballing themselves as a company and partnering with one of your competitors in your industry in which they don't even provide not even half okay what you guys provide and that company may not have the best customer service they may have the best as far as like support in the IT department but when it comes to your business what they got to do with it, right 
So, and I'm not knocking the IT department, but they basically they 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 fix things. They they make they, they keep things working, but yet they're not bringing more sales into the business. So there's a lot of it's a difference. There's a lot of companies that has a phenomenal IT department but a terrible sales. Great customer service, terrible sales, or great sales, terrible customer service. So it's always you know weighing out. Okay, there's a lot of even and odds and ups and downs with a lot of companies, but what determines your own individual sales if you're an independent contractor is based off of how you sound, and how passionate, you know, and how how serious you are in helping these, these businesses. I guess you'll get at least 15. The least you'll get at least 15. At least, even if you're not solid appointments, you should still be getting names, email addresses, and known phone numbers. You know, great times and dates to, uh, you know, get back in touch or something. You gotta be doing something at least that. If you're not doing at least three a day, then that's, that's a problem. If you're not doing at least at least three, and I mean that, at least three a day, then then it's a problem. Okay, you should have at least seventy-five appointments seven a month in a month. Okay, in which depending on again depending on if you're the one closing these deals or if somebody else is closing these deals, it should be at least bare minimum of twenty percent. Okay, if your company not closing twenty percent, I don't I don't I don't know what to what to, what to say on that. But um, if you had the opportunity to get in front of 75 people in one month, you should be able to close at least 20% of that. But again, guys, cold calling, I still put out the dinosaur leg, I still put it to my ear, and I still, you'll still, still hear my voice, okay, based off of the needs of the company. It's not necessarily about um, does the business need it or not, it's more so of telling that business that they do need it because you know that they need it. You need to know that they need your services before you call them. Because if you think that they need their services, you're not going to get that deal. You're not going to close because your mind is already distracted by your own doubts. A lot of you guys are very doubtful and fearful of this. So you're just like, hi, this is Karen, and I'm trying to get in touch with the business owner. Um, I have some services that I, I, I think is really Keyword I think is really good for you, and no, we're okay. No, we're okay. You see what you, you see? What I'm saying? See, you are guessing if it's good or not. You don't know for sure if it's good or not. Just like a multi-million dollar company, you would most likely think that oh, they don't need any more services, right? They don't need any more help. But yet, when you go on Google, you'll see that their rating is like 3.8, but it's a million dollar company. What's wrong? It could be the terrible customer service. It could be the support staff. It could be something. And again, let's say you was a reputation management company. I'm going to use that same same thing again. Say you was a reputation management company, and you have a track record of helping businesses in that same niche, or just companies in general all across the world in all 50 states. Help them go from multi million dollar to billion dollar industries. Imagine that. You need to call them with indefinite confidence in yourself. You need to call them like you know 2000%. We are the solution. You need us. Let's set up this appointment with this qualified individual, okay? At a better time that best fits them and connected to the schedule that maybe you have if you're closing them, or maybe someone that's in your company that you pass the lead over to. You got new qualifiers, slash sales, teller sales, stuff like that online as well. So just trying to give you a little bit more insight as into you know how you can talk with these people, but you know, I still pick up the phone. It is still very effective, okay. Understanding we are living in a, living in a digital world. Okay, but there are literally billion dollar companies in consulting. There are a lot of consulting firms right now that still utilize the proper script, that still utilize, okay, how to actually get through the gatekeeper and how to, you know, increase your appointment setting with qualified people in which you need to speak to, in which increases to contracts being signed and you getting that five dollars. Now, you know, man. So um, yes, there's a lot of great firms, okay, that still utilize this type of way of getting in contact with them. And quite frankly, sometimes it's faster, you know, the time that it took for you to set up that campaign, the time it, it took for you to budget that campaign, and the time it took for that campaign to end, 
I already spoke with that person already and got a qualified appointment the next day. We signed the contract on a Saturday evening when they were available or a Friday afternoon when, you know, everybody went home or whatnot and they were sitting at the table, okay? While you are marketing and you're marketing, sometimes, sometimes, the people that is in, all those clicks that you're getting, I already got that one person that you're looking for in your business. Why? Because I picked up the phone. I want to thank you guys for taking the time and watching this video. Please, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, share, comment below your thoughts and what you think. Hey, maybe you disagree with me. I want you guys to connect with me. Maybe you agree with me. I want you guys to connect with me. You know, at the end of the day, I'm not knocking digital marketing by any means because I still do it. But like I said, I create campaigns in multiple different niches and multiple different things. I, I, I get it. I understand. I utilize you in this place now on SMS and live transfers and other things. And technology is a beast these days. It's great to utilize it, especially for people that are, you know, you know, doing, you know, debt collection and real estate industries in the insurance industry, business funding, uh, even digital marketing services such as SEO, website design and development. But what I want to talk to you guys, what I wanted to basically discuss in this video was to let you guys know that yes, this dinosaur leg here, okay, even though it's an old phone, but hey, this dinosaur leg is still effective. Sometimes the best approach is a direct approach. Thank you. God bless. Take care. And remember, I do love you. I care about you. If I could just give you a hug, man, I actually would. I care about you. I love you. You are somebody. You are important. You keep on grinding for your kids. You keep on grinding for that career that you want. You keep on grinding for that degree. You keep on grinding for that certification. You keep on grinding for that license. You keep on grinding. You do not give up. You make that investment. You do what needs to be done. I'm here. I'm with you. I care. I love you. Until next time, guys. Peace.